Hi everybody, this is Ricky Lee again. I am about to teach you how to do some frequency separation. Everyone thinks that frequency separation is all the rage. While it is helpful for a lot of purposes, it is not the be-all and end-all of um, editing. In saying that, with this image, I want to blend some of the tones, the tonal range here. We've got um, her chin, which is quite... Um, it is dark and it's patchy and it's, yeah, so almost dimpled. So I want to reduce that. I want to blend my black and white and my dodging and burning a little bit more into the skin tones. So this is how I go about it. I go to the top of my layer. I'm on, I'm on a PC, sorry guys that are on a Mac. Um, I'm going to press Alt, Control, Shift, E, which creates a whole new layer. It's called a stamp but it creates a whole new layer that has blended all of my layers together on a new one. Okay, so I'm going to have that one. Then I'm going to duplicate that by dragging it down to the new layer box. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to double click this one and say hi. Okay, now what I'm going to do with the low, I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to see I'm going to blend it. This is different for every single purpose and every single photo. So just because I use a certain radius, you don't have to copy that. What we are looking for is for the um, 3D effect to disappear. We want everything to become flat. We do not want any texture. So we want the texture to leave. Um, so if I zoom in a little bit, I think that's probably overdone, honestly. Um, so we've got the skin texture of the skin there. We can see the pores, we can see moles, we can see imperfections in the skin. And I think that's just taking them a little bit too far away. When I zoom out, let's look at the baby. We still have eyes. We still want some distinct features. I'm going to drop that down to about four. Because we want to lose all the texture. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking to lose the texture. So there are wrinkles here. We can see a line a little bit, but that's that's okay. We can fix that later on. So I'm going to click OK. Okay, now I'm going to go to my high. And I am going to go image and apply image. Okay, so my settings are already set to what I want. The layer is usually, you'll probably have this on, I don't know, background. Pick low. Your um, channel stays on RGB. Your blending will become subtract. Opacity is 100. Now, this um, the scale, dep scale and offset depend on how, what your image is. If you're shooting in RAW files, then it should be 16-bit. So we're going to go scale to offset 128. And I'm sorry if you're editing um, an 8-bit photo. I can't remember exactly what those numbers are. Um, and if you are wanting to know, just I will do some research and let you know. Just ask the question below. Okay, so I click OK. Now what I'm going to do with that high layer, because clearly I can't see my face, the faces or my subjects, is I'm going to click um, this into linear light. I'm going to press Shift and click low as well and drag them both into a folder and I'm going to double click that and call it frequency separation now if I um, hide that folder you won't see any change or you shouldn't, shouldn't see a change okay nothing now what I'm going to do is this is where it all happens an easy way to start blending there is a couple of ways we can uh, to use actually you know what I will show you a couple of ways of how to use separation um, frequency to remove blemishes so let's say I want to remove this mole I don't really but I'm going to use it as an example you can get your healing brush tool press alt on a clean patch of skin and go over it okay so I'm going to remove it completely go on to low you can do the same thing and you can experiment, it's gone. Um, 
it's it's great for for wrinkles. Go to high, and it will move them. I actually don't really want to do that, so I'm going to bring them back. What I want to do is I want to blend her chin a little bit together, just that that mottling of the skin. There are a few ways to go about this. One way, this is another way of using frequency separation. Okay, hang on. I might focus on a different part of the skin tones. Um, let's use the arm and this area, and you'll see what I mean. We're going to duplicate the low layer. We're going to go filter, blur, surface blur. And... What this is going to do is it's going to blend, like blur it all together almost, but keep the edges where you want them. So in this image, I'm watching the image, the edges, and I can see some shadowing. We don't want the shadowing. So I'm going to keep playing with this until I'm happy. I can still see ghosting along his arm here, which is not what we want. So I'm going to bring that down ghosting on her hands but we do want it on her face so what we might do is I might reverse the way we're using it let's look at her skin tones in her face I'll go drag this up ultra high just give the computer a couple of seconds to catch up bring that, that radius there we go so it's blending it all together it's blurring it together I'm going to bring that down a little or a lot really I'm going to leave it there. Everything looks ghosty, but what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to now let my computer do its thing. I'm actually going to put a mask on this layer. And then I'm going to press Control i to invert it. I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to put it on white by pressing X. And now I'm going to brush that blur on. And look at that. It's just softened everything. Just blended it all together. So if I, um, let's just do this eye. We're leaving all of the main parts alone. If I turn that off, oh, you can barely, it's such a subtle difference. Off, on. Off, look at her skin. On. Go up here. Off. On. Okay. Now I'm going to do it on the baby. I might not do it completely. I might bring it to 62%. I'm just going to, because he has a little bit of mottled skin around here. Oh, actually, that's flattening him a little bit much. Hang on. No, I'm going to take some of that off. I like the highlight, the the shadows being quite dark, so I'm just going to remove that. Okay. Another place we could do it is um, where shadows join to highlights. I don't normally touch or soften men's skin. I just wanted you to see how what that did to the um to the cheekbone. If this was a lady, just gives a a layer of foundation. I'm just going to take that off again. Okay, um, so I'm fairly happy with that, and you have learned how to do frequency separation. Um, let me just think. I'm just trying to, if there was any other, okay, let's say we want to get rid of some of this hair. I'm going to go to the high layer and reduce that size, and look at that, it's gone. Completely gone. I'm choosing a nice clean patch of skin. And it's removed. Sometimes if it's a different colour to the rest of it, it's um, you need to do it on the low, on the original low as well. But um, as you can see, this is working. So there you go. Frequency separation. I am actually going to take a little bit off this mole. I'm going to bring back some of her features. Let's 
just a little bit more. Okay, well, I hope you learnt something, um, and I will be back with the next tutorial soon. Enjoy!